Friends, in today's chemistry experiment, we will pr prepare a compound, a very colorful dye. Now dyes are important because they give us colorful clothes and fabrics. We need some chemicals, 2-naphthol or beta-naphthol, sodium hydroxide, caustic soda, aniline, sodium nitrate and also concentrated hydrochloric acid. So this is how we make the azo dye. First pour out 4 milliliters of aniline in a measuring cylinder. Then add this aniline to 10 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid in the beaker. In this reaction, a lot of fumes will be formed. Then add 20 milliliters of water to dilute this mixture. This mixture will become very hot. Before we use it, we have to cool it down in a bucket of ice to 5 degree centigrade. So place the solution in a jar full of ice for at least 10 minutes to reduce the temperature to 5 degrees centigrade or below. Here we are placing the aniline beaker in a bath of cold water. Now for the second solution, add a few crystals of sodium nitrate to 20 milliliters of water in a beaker. Now stir the solution well. This is also an exothermic reaction and the solution will become hot. Cool it down to less than 5 degree centigrade by placing it in an ice bath. For the third solution, add 2 naphthol to the solution of sodium hydroxide or caustic soda. To get a clear solution, you will have to stir this mixture for a long time until all the naphthol is dissolved. So be be patient and keep stirring until all the naphthol in the mixture is dissolved. Now once again, you will have to cool the solution to less than 5 degree centigrade by placing it in a cold bath. Soon all the three solutions will be ready. The first solution is that of aniline in hydrochloric acid. The second solution is sodium nitrate. And the third solution is 2-naphthol in sodium hydroxide. Now pour the first aniline solution into the second solution of sodium nitrate. So now you'll have a full beaker and a half beaker. Both these beakers are small pour the contents of the full beaker into the first beaker, big beaker. Finally, in the end, pour the two naphthol solution in the big beaker. Now you will see a beautiful red colored precipitate. A dye, a colorful dye is being created. This is the azo dye, A-Z-O. The azo dye is formed when aniline reacts with beta-naphthol. Now to get the commercial dye, we have to filter the solution. 
But what you can do is place a drop of the solution on a piece of filter paper and this would give you a good idea as to how this dye colors fabric and clothes. Look, it's almost blood red. You can also dip some filter paper into the solution. And this is the actual process of dyeing. This azo dye is usually used to color fabrics. Now on filtering the solution, you will get this kind of powder dye or the azo dye. This will color our clothes orange or red. I can touch the dye with my fingers and you will see that my fingers take on an orange hue too.